It's, it's happening. One. Or will be one. Alright. Now. No, 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 no. We go like this. I need to be fast. I want to show him the thing. Alright. Now we go like this. Opnix Swiss. And now we put the counter on Opnix Swiss. And I think it's here. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Love here and today, man, so much happened, but first of all, the deck. So we will talk about, you know, all the stuff that happened a little bit at the end of the intro, because you are here for the cards, for the new decks and, you know, new action. And let me tell you in advance, you will see the combo, because there is a combo, you probably know by now, and it will be epic, and we will also play some rank games in high mythic, so you will see how it goes. And honestly, I, I like the deck, we win even without the combo of this one so let's talk through the deck what's up what's going on in standard right now or will be one uh, you might know the card so when whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent or player this deals the same amount of damage as you get the counters right and somehow we have up next list captive kim queen new card four mana uh, four three flying trample not relevant it's whatever whenever one or more opponents each lose exactly one life put a plus one plus one counter on this and you exile card you can play it whatever we don't care the counter whenever your opponent loses one life and when you put the counter you deal one damage with all will be one right and then you get infinite loop of up next list killing everything in the battlefield including your opponent and if they cannot remove this creature they instantly die that, that's super cool but hold up if it doesn't work we have things like monumental facade i i don't know i think that's how you say it and this land comes with two oil counters so when you play this you instantly deal two damage with this one when you remove oil counter from this one you put an oil counter on something you deal another one damage so in total every land deals four damage and it can be assigned on you know different stuff Okay, Barak on a raid. Uh, this gets the counters because it's a saga. Every time it gets a counter, you deal damage. The chapters deal damage. Voldaren Epicure deals damage. Fable deals damage. <laughs> you get the idea. So the deck is extremely deadly and it just pinks your opponent to the death, right? As the name suggests. Uh, one more cool thing we can do. Sometimes you want to make whole combo in one turn so it cannot be interrupted, right? So for this reason, we have Fable. I know, crazy, who plays Fable? Because we can create a treasure token and big score because we can create even more treasure tokens. And when you hit like 9 or 10, right? Because you need to play this, you need to play this, that's 9 mana, and you need 8 or 1 mana, you know, one of those to hit for 1. Both of them hit for 1, that's why we have them as well. Or you just play the land. So one of those options. So in total you kind of need 10 mana to do it, but with treasures you can have 4 treasures and 6 lands, so you can do it actually pretty quickly. Uh, other than this we have some removal duress because you want to make sure there's no, you know, counter spurs removal. You basically set the stage for the final act. And with free of possibility, Fable and Harvester, you have so much cycling and yeah, big score. You have so much cycling that finding this combo is actually not hard. You you just you, you just get it very very quickly. And this is the deck. <laughs> it's, it's insane. So Man, this deck, th this day was absolutely crazy for me. Like, I did not expect a new set. Maybe I'm a dummy. I probably am, but I I just queued on, on Arena. There was an update. I was like, man, what's up? I, I thought they, they had some server crash. And then I found a new set in the shop. <laughs> It was like, what? I was not prepared. I didn't even read all of the new cards, so I don't remember them. And it was so late for me, or early, depending how you want to sit. And I just threw everything and started, you know, reading and making decks. And I wanted to give you this deck like 12 
hours before, but in reality I had to go to work, man. <laughs> and here I am, super sleepy, super tired, just went back to home and making the deck so you can as soon as possible see this in action, because it's pretty epic. So yeah, I'm the most crazy day of the month for sure, but... Yeah, I, I won't look into, you know, the drama thing, uh, why it was earlier, you know. I, I've been trying to read, you know, forums to get the idea, but I'm not 100% informed. I'm sure someone did better job and they had more time to delve into it. So, you know, we, we won't talk about it. There, there will be songs about this release, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what I wanted to say. And about the deck, is it competitive? Do you want to craft it? Uh, that's the question. Honestly, I've been playing with this card before. It's not extremely good on its own. Up next is, I mean, one removal breaks your combo. So to be honest, I would wait with this one because it it, it is very, very weak, you know, just uh, vulnerable, that's the word. One piece is broken and you are out of the game. We won some mythic games. Actually, I think we won all of the games we have played today. But, you know, I would wait. I'm not sure. Uh, I've been reading some opinions and a lot of uh, players say it's a bit janky and you know, not extremely solid. So I don't know. I don't want to hype you for this one so you waste your wild cards. I think it's really cool, but probably not something that will stay for a long time. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I would love to see something new, but it, I don't know. It's it's a cool combo and it's really fun when it works. And it works surprisingly often. Uh, surprisingly, like nearly every game. So this is my honest opinion. I hope you will like it. And guys, please do subscribe, like we really earned it, this day was absolute crazy and this is how you can really make it an uh, amazing day, so really thank you if you consider it, let's go into the games, the video will probably be shorter, I just want to you know, show you the gameplay because it's super cool and there will be more unranked games because I just wanted to keep keep playing and you know, get content very quickly. So uh, enjoy, have fun, tell me what you think, I'm curious what you will see, say, and if I ramble, sorry, I'm really, really tired right now. Alright guys, I'm ready for the combo. We have a lot of frills, we have fibers, we have big scores, we have all the elements, we just need to find, you know, the whole combo. But other, like, we have one piece, the monumental facade. Uh, we can put the oil counter on target artifact creature, you know. We just need to have something in the board. But to have combo, we need to op anyway, right? Let's go like this for now. Uh, we can go with frill, not sure what we discard. Uh, all right, I think we go for the big score at this moment. We could uh, get rid of that free, but you know, I'm not exactly playing perfect this this time. I just want to do the combo so we can enjoy all together. Uh, let's go with this one. And of course we go Fable. There's nothing better than Fable on the play, man. <laughs> Like, I have to admit, next turn it's big score, and maybe we stack so many treasures we can do everything in one turn, if we are good enough. And they don't be, don't seem to be super interactive, that's perfect. They cannot even block, man. Oh, punished. Alright, I don't think we need Epicure. Honestly, I don't need the Harvester at this point. Like, it's, it's not the worst card, but definitely not what we want. Treasure, the first one of the mana and we say go no blue mana so we play on their turn and that would be a big score on facade probably yeah okay uh invasion of zendikar sure you ramp i try to kill you that's the split man we need to dig into the cards but we are having a lot of mana i think we can play everything in one turn and i will learn the combo <laughs> All right, he, he wants to flee, sure. Like, it's okay. Like, he won't kill us in one turn. And in two turns, I have to kill him anyway, probably. Sure. And we go big score, because we go big. And with with the, all right, one of the, one of the pieces. All right, like we are definitely getting there, man. So it's five. Man, we can do combo on the next turn, I think. That's pretty amazing. Alright, I'm getting excited. 
and we attack right I think we attack mana is always good let's see the blockers that's a smart one do I kill with go for the throat I don't need more mana it's fine it's fine so what we will do is go like this and go for free on Takenuma. We should have enough everything, basically. I like it. We just need to hit one of our fours for one with Fire X or whatever it's called. I tried to make a deck with it without the combo, but it was just kind of weak. And let's block, I guess. It's just 8 damage. I much rather have Kiki Jiki. I thought he will go, you know, all in and maybe even a 10 damage wooden block. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Alright, a bit scary. But he cannot do the combo. Let's see if he exiled our of our win cons. No, not a single one. Oh man, that's crazy. He didn't get anything. Like harvester, alright. But even if he has a Traxa, like we just go full combo mode, right? And we can still absolutely win. Kogla and Jidaro. I, I don't know, man. The ape. The ape you think. So we go free and we can use blood tokens. So we draw four cards, possibly five of, you know, Voldaren. So basically a lot of cards. All right, he has two mana here. So three total. Uh, that's actually scary, right? Because he can go, he can break the combo if he has any kind of removal. Uh, that's fine. That's actually pretty fine. It means he cannot interrupt, interrupt the combo. Man, we need to hit it. The setup is complete. We just need to do the thing. I will still go for Takanuma. Maybe go for the throat is enough. So if I play this... So, what will happen? I can burn this, right? No, burn go for the fraud, I think. No, I have the facade, so I can go like this. Alright, so I think we go like this. It's five. Yeah, it's it should be enough. We, we will hit a land, right? <laughs> I think he knows. I think he knows. Yes, it's, it's happening! one all will be one all right now no 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 we go like this i need to be fast i want to show him the thing all right now we go like this opnixis and now we put the counter on opnixis and i think it's here <laughs> oh thank you little something for showing the combo this is the slowest combo ever oh my god it will take forever i would give him the love but i'm scared that if i stop clicking uh, <laughs> I, I will pink myself <laughs> oh we did it but this feels like an absolute thing and it will take like two minutes of clicking him i don't think we can make it fast <laughs> oh man thank you thank you you are the best and he knows about the combo and he allowed us to do it because like he expected that we'll do it <laughs> that's so epic man those first few days of new set it, it feels like true magic always i'm so happy all right let's pink nine more times because it's absolutely not you know awkward like he knows he will die i know i will kill him but we still need to do the thing and he's so kind that he actually wants to see the full sequence Oh man, he he's absolutely amazing. We are doing it. Four, three. By the way, we exiled the whole library. <laughs> Two. Oh, don't scoop, please don't scoop. One more. Yes, it happened. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, we did it. Our life is fulfilled, man. That was super cool. This is a very weird hand, but 
We need just one red mana during the game and we'll fix everything. See? Easy. High quality magic never didn't have it. And now we can curve out perfectly for the rest of the game. So, free of possibility will be the next play. Let's not show the, the land, right? Because it is pretty obvious what will happen. And this is really, really vulnerable to counter spells. But you know, if he counters it, then the Fable is going and Fable is pretty good. I mean, Fable is pretty good. My turn. Oh yeah, yeah. for some reason I wanted to, <laughs> to play this as a free. So it will get countered, we'll go to 4 one probably, and it won't be pretty. But then we activate the Fable. Oh, it went through. That's something I did not expect. It is possible he knows about the combo and he just holds up the counter spell or on the combo. Because let's be honest, then he w will never lose, right? Like, four counter spells and that's it. I'm not sure if we have like any synergy like on this one. Like, we can put counters, but it's what, one damage. We have Fable, so I, I mean, we can scrap something, but it's probably not the best. All right, so now he knows the full picture, probably. Uh, let's get rid of the lands. We'll probably draw more. Combat phase. Nobody likes goblin attacking. But this guy does. Mm, he has double white. All right, I mean, I'll take it. I absolutely take it. This one is not for planeswalkers. Yeah, all right, all right. Still, we have a lot of stuff, so I'll take it. Uh, let's play another land. We could go for this one. They have white march and for wells. <laughs> you know what? It is kind of epic, right? Let's try it. Let's try it. It's probably not the best play, but come on. Like, it, it's, it's super epic. And he cannot really use march because he doesn't have enough mana, so at least he needs to exile something. And, you know, maybe he doesn't answer it. Maybe he does not. So we have Opnixlis and we have Lan to put the counter. If he taps out fully, we win the game. Oh my god, he tapped? We win, right? We play the land, we play the op, and we do the combo. And this might be White March, but I'm taking it. That's the risk. First the Emperor. No priority you'll have to sit because there are targets for the white march. So let's go with this one. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I will ping you. And now we play the thing. Oh my god, like it's happening way more than I expected, man. And we go on the most expensive one. And by the way, we just do it 17 times man this is the most awkward part of the combo like your opponent knows what's happening but he he's just a cool okay never mind <laughs> but honestly you probably have to scoop you you know what will happen it's taking so long like it's w one minute of pinging him basically all right guys going first we have one and two parts of the combo man we just need to hit those treasures uh, depending on what we play, we might... Uh, let's go for the Epicure, right? I, I This is kind of the combo, but I think before we play those, we will hit a, a something else, like the land, right? And depending on what we... See? That's how you win in Mythic. <laughs> Just one drop. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll take it. Alright, going first, I mean... I mean, we can make it work. I'm not sure how we play it out. We have multiple ways to go around it. Maybe we just go Okiba. Yeah, that's probably it, right? We might also hit the second land. I want to keep at least some, some pressure, you know. We will force something. It will be hard against this kind of rank, but maybe we can make it. Just maybe. That's Duress. Alright, there are duress targets. Alright. Wedding announcement, I guess. Just because it's the most pressure. Of course, the goblin will die. So maybe we should go for the lay down arms, but. Uh, I just want to get rid of the fan. Because I, I knew I have another duress, right? But we still want to keep playing clans. 
That's an interesting choice. If we play this, we hit the round. If we play this, we deny full wedding announcement value. I think we'll have enough time. And he has a lot of targets, so we keep up the duress. Or we can just hit everything, because we are so good at matching. <laughs> I kind of didn't consider this, you know, this possibility. So we are trading cards very heavily, he has only removal, and he drew a very good value card, but it's slow, and we don't mind slow. So you know what, I'll take it. We can also attack with the road, road captain, because why not? And uh, no, no, no place there. Alright, let's attack. And he will have very good, uh, you know what, but it's fine. And we definitely need more land, so we play this one as well. Uh, if he kills this, he doesn't kill this. He burns one mana, which doesn't make a huge difference. He still draws a card, right? And that will be the play. Sorcerer speed, so he needs to do it now. And I mean, we try to dig for the combo. So far, no farewells in the hand. Also no marches, so there is more chance we can play this and just untap with it. Who knows, who knows. I should probably read the card. That much damage. So if we get more counters, we deal more damage. Sure. That's a land. Huh. So I want this. I want this. And this is not a bad hand. Not a bad card, basically. All right, I'm really not sure if we go for this one. I will try it. It might be a bad play, but you know we have three more in in the worst case, and the fact that he cannot farewell on the next turn is pretty huge. And every land he misses means farewell is even further. This was a good decision. So we deal one, so we can start attacking even better, and we don't need to defend at all anymore. And I mean we attack. I will do it right now. I didn't play a land, I believe. Man, this is actually pretty decent. Like, look at this, we actually kill him directly. Oh man, uh, I like it. I like it. So we remove the counter, we put it on Kiki Jiki, this way we put a counter, and we deal more damage. And now we put counter here, and now we we make damage. I mean, lands that deal damage every turn seems pretty good, and he's at 6 somehow. This is no joke. I think we kill him, right? Oh my god, man, this deck might be even better than expect. Like, look at this stuff. He's dead. Oh, no artifact, no creature. But on the next turn... Alright, upkeep stop. When this transforms... Oh, but it's a sorcery. Alright, so let, let's not give him the idea. Yeah, he knows this will transform. We killed him with lands! Man, even without the combo with Okiba gank, like, we have so much... Pre or whatever, Okiba on the right. Alright. So, yeah, we have so much pressure, man. Top 300 epic with this one. Oh, I love it.